is my four triple two custom tactics that got me from 11 wins into weekend league to 14 wins to most likely 15 16 wins almost guaranteed uh in the next upcoming weekends for sure with this custom tactics of course with the team and everything now the team itself is a little bit different of course i ended up pulling my pedalo and my uh, weekend league uh player picks and also uh well bellagardi was playing this position this guy right here and uh maldini was my center back now i did the icon sbc i ended up getting uh coleman so I ended up putting uh, Maldini on uh, on the market because I did want to I did want to sell him anyways because I did want to try different cards anyways. So I was like, for the meanwhile, let's put Coleman here. So this is the team. Um, before we get into custom tactics, for people that didn't see the video where I finished in uh, foot champs, just to show you real quick, I am playing qualifiers right now. I'm already four and zero. I think there's a way to check though. Is there a way to check? I guess there's not a way to check to see what was my last foot champ. I guess you guys have to watch the last video, the one that I just basically pulled Pilo in, but whatever. It is what it is. I don't know why it doesn't show no more, but it doesn't really matter. You guys are going to believe me if you go watch the other video, right? Now, four triple two. I think, like a lot of people say, it's the top formation uh, right now. Um, personally, the way I play it is everything on balance. Um, and if ever I'm having issues in games uh, where I'm like behind by two goals, let's say, that's when I'm going to go back into my tactics and I'm going to switch a few things. For example, I'm going to put pressure on every touch or constant pressure, most likely going to put like uh, chance creation, four runs and stuff like that. Okay, but this is how I play 90% of my games from beginning to the end. So basically defensive style balance with 46, depth 60, built up play balance, balance uh, with 52 players in the box five two and one okay this is the way my team is set up of course we have the left footers on the on the left side and the right footers on the right side for the travelers i don't really use travelers that much to be honest with you but just in case if i have a shot with a travel shot i'll try to take it or whatever that's why i got smaller rick on my left with Skorchkov as my left cam and keen and payette as my attacking uh striker and right cam right in the midfield, we have, of course, Pilo and Zidane. Now, Zidane is more of my offensive one, believe it or not. Pilo is going to play more of a defensive version over here, but he also does uh, help me get the ball up. Okay, but Zidane just does more of the offensive work for me. He's Mali and Traori are my left backs, of course. Now, instructions. Both my, uh, well, not both, actually. My uh, small Smolik is on stay central and get it behind with balance support defensive support where keen we could keep him up front he's my uh you know he's my main scorer of the team so he's going to be on stay central getting behind but stay forward okay both my cams are on come back on defense get into the box and there's a new thing i added because i saw this video from this guy talking about this drift wide at first i wasn't too sure about it then i started using it and i started to realize yes this is definitely a good tactic to use in the four triple two it does does definitely help uh, your players open up uh, your opponent's defense and also what it does is that when you get into the box for example your players seem to go to the far post which helps for people that like to take crosses okay when it comes to my left back and right back i have them both on stay back while attacking an overlap but i'm going to explain something okay that's just for the tactics once you get into game uh, i always put them on join the attack the only reason why i have them over here on stay back while attacking is because once i take the lead by two goals let's see i want to put them more like defensively then i remove the the d-pad and i put them on stay back while attacking the reason is you do it this way because on the d-pad you cannot put them stay back while attacking the only way you could do it is by putting them in tactics so i only have them there uh so that when i do want i do want to use them defensively wise i could remove the join the attack on the d-pad okay when it comes to my CDMs, uh, Pilo, again, like I said, he's more of my defensive one. So he's going to be stay back while attacking with cover center. And Zidane is only cover center. I have him more like free roam. Like I want him to go up the pitch as much as possible. I'll show you the stats. I love Zidane in this game. I think he's amazing. If you created this card, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, just to give you an example, 123 games played already with him. But he's got 38 goals and 47 assists as a cdm it's insane he's just 
he's that good. Uh, unfortunate, uh, Pila only played the four games of the um, qualification, which I'm 4-0. Oh. He did score a goal, but like I said, I don't use him much um, offensively. Of course, I, I, I do get a lot of like good passes with him, but sometimes it just goes to Zidane or goes to another four. So his stats don't show like he has... Um, contributed a lot, but reality is doing a lot in the, on the pitch, right? And of course, like I said, my uh, my two strikers are just insane. Keen has almost 400 goals for me already. And uh, smaller wreck, this this guy is a good card. A goal of the game also. Uh, I was using Donovan at first uh, when I had him, and Donovan is very, very good too. As you can see, he scores uh, almost a goal of the game there with uh, the assist and everything. I mean, all these arrow cards this year are good. So wherever you're playing with... Uh, these top euro cards, you're, you're going to have success up front for sure. Now, personally, I think that this this year, 4 triple 2 is one of those formations that just basically help a lot of people. Even when people are trying to pressure you out, because I notice a lot of people, uh, the games I'm, I've been playing um, are using some sort of like uh, pressure tactics, but I, I, I kind of find it like useless a little bit because if you're good at like basically maneuvering the ball a little bit, um, you basically, the person that's on pressure tactics at that moment is going to pretty much, pretty much get tired throughout the game and you're eventually going to dominate them. I will give you guys a little advice. When someone is pressuring you very hard, do not pass the ball. What you do is you run and run in a straight line because is um, the trick is the players that are basically are on constant pressure, for example, or a high pressure, they're going to be marking all your players. So don't pass the ball. What you do is just basically turn like in circle, make the guy chase you, and just run in a straight line while all the other players are marked. You're going to have a gap completely open for you just to run straight in a line because every other player is marked. And since their pressure is so high, they're going to be like glued to your player. So the worst thing you could do when that's happening is actually pass the ball. Don't pass the ball. Just circle around and run with the player that you have the ball. Even if it's your defender, just run around with your ball. Oh, you're gonna see that you're gonna have uh, all the gaps open, and and, and eventually, is is custom custom pressure tactics just won't work against you. Hopefully, this in, this helps you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye bye.